Scare me. Oh, my knees are popping. Oh. Oh. Oh, my muscles, Lord. Oh. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, you're so mighty. Thank you, Father. Oh. Oh. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh. Oh, damn, damn, fuck, oh, hey y'all, <clears throat> I'm back with the jump off, got my goons in the back. Eating up that fried motherfucking chicken and they should be up here in case something jump off. Oh, they like my dance. <clears throat> he fucked it up. Hey, what's going on? Merry Christmas to everyone who I haven't said it to from the last video. We was getting our judge. So, um, Merry Christmas to y'all. Hope you're having a wonderful time. If you by yourself, baby, spend it with me. While I got a little time, I'm finna go to a party. I kind of wish I was home, though. Because there's a couple... <clears> of <throat> uh, like my friends who I know like family is all the way gone somewhere and they don't make it home and we always kind of you know spend time together but they got they they doing it now because they I checked on them they out and about so they cool but now I wish I was there with them Hold on, Jeff. Hello? Hey, what's going on? Nothing. I'm, uh, my PC won't last. Are you? <laughs> You're crazy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she did. Um, yeah, she had uh, told me the other day, and then I was with her last night, and she had told me um, to come over there okay. and stuff. Okay, well, I'm just making sure I call you soon as I get home and uh, let you know. Okay, sounds good. Okay, well, we'll turn up. Uh, yeah, yes, indeed. I'm, you, I'm finna roll over one now. You'll see that, too. <laughs> I love you too. <laughs> okay. All right. Bye. <laughs> that was my sister. She watching me with her crazy self. We're going to a party tonight. Well, girl, I'm wrestling. I may wrestle flip flop, sister. Oh, you know what? I got them shoes from um. Old Navy, and they like some little slide-ins. They cute shoes. They real comfortable on my feet. My feet can breathe because it's warm out here. And we're going to get our jizz. And, bitch, I think Reggie coming to pick me up, too. Oh, no. No, yeah, he could come pick me up because I'm going to drink. 
And I could bring my ass back here. Am I out of blood? What the? Oh, no, I'm not. I forgot I went to the store. Look what I bought at the store. Other than these damn blunts. See, we don't, I don't think we have these in California. But we have the one for five, though. I never seen... I think I've seen these before. But I've never seen Mike and Ike... Uh, Mike and Ike's and Grape. And I want to try this shit when I got out the store to see if I liked it. So I can know to go back and get some more. Mm -mm. She all right. I don't know. Merry Christmas, baby. Mm. Mm -mm. She got to get... She need to be in the car to get warm and soft. Because mama tough. This bitch to pull off a damn veneer. Mm. This right here, this made me feel about five years old. I'm going back for those. I'm going to let these stay. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to let them grape ones stay. But Mr. Melons, I'm bringing them back. Them, I was five years old when I had that first piece of candy. It's amazing that the taste is still the same. It took me right back. Ice cream truck. Yes, ma'am. And they were still 25 cents. Oh, yes, I'm happy to come back to Australia, too. Wasn't that crazy how that worked out? Did you even know how it worked out? Let me tell you how it worked out. Okay, so, you know, Katia is my girl, her and Trixie. They're my sisters, right? So, Katia was like, I need to work with Jasmine or something to that point. And I was like, yeah, like I need to work with my Katia, get my gist from my Katia. And Steven, in Australia, you know, we already did that gist. <clears throat> and he didn't want to have me stay longer to do the other gigs when I was out there, seeing the post, and asked me like, hey, I would love to have you. Of course. First I said, you know, how do how you want to have me, baby? But it was the um, performance side for now. For now, like, no. <laughs> I'll play it. But yeah, so, and I, that's how it worked out. I'm like, ain't that a bitch? But I'm so happy and thankful. Because I loved Australia. I really did. Oh my gosh. It was just Oh, wow. It was really nice. It really was. Um, yeah, I would do one at the, if I'm asked. Damn, I didn't break this down good enough. <clears throat> or maybe I broke it down too much and 
some of the fucking stems is in this bitch. Oh, it's so, you know what? I'm going to tell you this. You start putting you some money aside. And, and you just buy you a ticket to go there. And come back. But even if you have to get that ticket, even if you have to buy your one way first and then get your way coming back separate instead of doing it together, work on getting a one a one way ticket there. And of course you get that ticket coming back way before you it's that time. But you know that you have your ticket going. So now you just have to work on the way coming back. It's almost like doing like a layaway type of situation. But if you can make it to anywhere you want to go in the world, just start putting some money away for the ticket going. Just start putting some money away for it to happen. Because it's so worth it. Oh my God, it's so worth it. And this is just talking from things I've done in my 20s and stuff. Like, I want to go here. And just going places that you want to go, do you think back like, bitch, I really went there. Get out there and do it. Cause it's worth it. It's so worth it. It's I don't know. I, I don't know I don't know what else to say. It's worth it. It just just do it. And the only thing about that is you have to have that you have to have that saving locked down. You can't Dip and dab in that. You got to just know it's gone and tch, whatever. But if you got that, oh, I'm going to dip in here. When I get paid, I'm going to put it back. Nah, don't fuck with it. Just get it and put it aside. It just don't fuck with it. Now, if you need it, need it, need it, need it, then okay then. But if it's some bullshit, nah, you can't do it. There were times I was just like, baby, I just not doing it. I'm not going out unless unless somebody was paying for shit and I didn't need nobody to pay for shit. I was like, I, I got other things I want to do. And I had to sacrifice shit. Like getting my teeth done. I worked my ass off. I worked for gigs that was nothing. And when I say nothing, I was getting nothing out the door. If I was doing one gig and paid for one and I was in the area, I was like, bitch, I'm hyped up. Let me come on over there and do some numbers. They're like, for real, y'all come over and just bust out a number or two, baby, because I need to, I was on hustle mode. I wanted to get my motherfucking veneers done. And I found a legit doctor and he did an outstanding job to some people who I know mouth look like they've been chewing on concrete. Baby, I want to get my motherfucking teeth done. That's something I always wanted. And I don't know why I did, because I could have got braces and had them for a year and I would have been done. But I just wanted some, king, whatever. So I worked my ass off. I didn't buy no clothes. I didn't buy no new shoes. I didn't buy shit that I didn't need. If I didn't need it, I didn't buy it. I was like, fuck that. I still had rent, car, no, mama bills, my nephew. It was just, you know, I was, I had a lot, still a lot going on. I had to sacrifice my ass off. But I did it and got what I wanted. And get your juice. Shit. You just got to do it. Fuck it. You never grow if you don't. But baby, let me tell you. It's a lot of bullshit out there. The clubs ain't going nowhere. And that's what I have to tell myself. Like, going out with my friends, like when they have like the male nights in L.A. Because we don't really have shit for black folks in L.A. Now we don't have shit. But... 
they used to have like a first Fridays or like a Friday night. You know, everybody go out. It's like forty dollars because it's all you could drink or whatever. But all that for me, knowing I didn't drink a lot and I wasn't gonna talk to nobody anyway, or you know, we were just gonna dance. It's like, bitch, y'all would just have to have smoking weed with me all day playing spades and shit. I don't wanna go to the club. And I'm trying to, I gotta go, bitch. I got a shit to do. And once I got my jish, they're like, oh, bitch, what? What What happened? What? Bitch, I'm, baby, I went grocery shopping one good time. I spent 300 and like 40 some dollars. I cooked every fucking day. I didn't eat no fast food. I cooked my ass off for them. If I was hungry in the morning, lunch, dinner, I didn't buy no fast food because that was about $500 a week. Fuck that. No, ma'am, I don't need that. Nope. No, 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 no. Going with the bars and stuff, I always got my drinks for free. But if I was going to another club, take me to the liquor store. Let me get two of these damn little wine bottles. And I'm going to sip on these on the way there. And then when we get there, I'm at my limit. So I'm cool. And if I decide to get one for $13, then I'll say, okay, I'm going to spend it because I want one or, or whatever. But I know I'm not going to need one. And I never need one. It's like, bitch, fuck that. I got shit I got to do. Fuck spending. And you know, not, well... I'm just saying, I, if I got shit going on, I'm not about to run no $80 tab at no bar. Baby, I'm going to the liquor store. And I'm going to get the same shit that they're going to give me there for cheaper. And I'm going to mix my shit up in the car. And I'm going to drink. So when I get up in there, I may need one or I may not need shit at all. Unless somebody buy it. But... I got shit to do. But other than that, this party it up. Shit, you got to do that too. But when you got goals and sacrifice, baby, you better break it down. Get that shit done. If not, I don't know what the fuck to tell you. But did y'all see this challenge though? That's what I was looking for when I was on this motherfucking phone. Of these bitches sucking cucumbers in the club. Y'all hoes is sucking cucumbers. Oh, I thought that was Patty LaBelle. <laughs> no shade, you. I thought that was Patty, you. Oh, where it go? Um... I don't know how to get to my videos and stuff on here. So I can't even show you guys. But it's a video of some girls in a club in Texas sucking on cucumbers. Called, they called it the dick sucking challenge. And they sucking on these cucumbers. When I say sucking, I don't know how old you are. You shouldn't be on here if you... I ain't 18 and up, but you know, that's your mama gave these phones, so you're getting magician. Sucking. Cucumbers in the club. Video camera going, they all eh, eh, spitting this shit on it. This girl's got her saliva going around it, and another bitch trying to go suck on it. I'm like, you. <laughs> What is going on with the world? They were sucking cumbers. And then it was a cucumber and it's two girls sucking on it. <laughs> and one of them was real greedy because she just, she's so long throated it until she got her the damn cucumber all the way down her motherfucking tube down here 
And she just, ah, ah, and they kept knocking it out of the other girl's mouth. She like, I'm like, she just showing that she just suck on dick. It's, I don't know if y'all seen that. Oh my God. I, I, I don't even know how to find, let me see. I think I've located something. This is different for me. What it is all this shit? That looks like it. No, that's not it. What is this stuff? This is video. Hello. Hi. Merry Christmas. Oh, in school? Oh, yeah. I was cool with everybody in school. I didn't have problems. I didn't, like, in high school, I didn't get in. I wasn't into all that fighting and drama and all that. People didn't fuck with me. I didn't fuck with them. I was cool with everybody. Everybody got their gist with me. I got my gist with them. I still talking shit. <laughs> now was everybody homie. That's cool. What's up? Shit. I don't even know. Um. I don't even know what the hell I'm looking at. I just see videos, but I don't know where it's at, and I don't know. But, uh, yeah. No, I didn't get a romper for Christmas. And I was going to get one, but it's so fucking hot out here in Orlando. I was like, fuck that. Ain't nobody walking around no damn rompers out here. It's hotter than the motherfucker. Fuck that. That turned me all the way off looking at them bitches because it's hotter than fuck out here. I mean, for real, it's hot, baby. It's hot out here. And people not ran rompers. Mm-mm. So now it turned me off when I thought about it, but I really wanted to, um, I really wanted to, uh, buy one to take to Chicago because I know it's just cold as fuck, but it's not snowing when I go Thursday. Oh, I go Thursday. Merry Christmas to you too, Jess. How was your day? My day was good, Jess. How was yours? I'm going to go hang out at my sister Giselle house. You was bullied in school? Oh my God, I'm so sorry. I can handle that. I can, I can, I can handle that. Oh, I can handle that. And like in school, if I seen somebody sitting by themselves, or it was like maybe two or three of them, and they was like real quiet. Or but just by themselves, period. I was always the one to go over there and talk to them, cause I just never felt like I want to see somebody alone. I just never underst I just never liked that feeling of someone being alone. So I was just like, "What you doing? What's your name? Oh, okay, I'm such and such. All right, even like in class, uh uh. I didn't let nobody around me. I didn't let nobody go through like that bullying shit, cause I was like, "Bitch, what the fuck." No, we can't do that. Not in front of me. You can't. No, ma'am. Mm-mm. Because I went through that before. No, ma'am. We're not about to have that. No, 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 no. You're not going to sit there and just torture me by making me afraid of you every day. Either you're going to whoop my ass 
and get it over with, or you gonna leave me the fuck alone, or I'm finna fuck you up because this everyday shit and me being terrified of you, I gotta get that gotta stop. I can't go through that. So no ma'am. Something gonna have to happen. So if you doing all that woofing, you might as well beat me up if you're gonna beat me up. Or I'm gonna whoop your ass or something, but you got all that talking being afraid of you. We got to get that over with. And a lot of times, you see them be the ones getting their ass whooped because they sitting there talking shit. No, bitch, I'm finna pick up something on your ass and lay you the fuck out. You gonna leave me alone today. Not this every day, all day, constantly shit. No, ma'am. That's too much. But I was cool with everybody in school, though. But that was just me. Just having fun. I love school. I had so much fun in school. Oh, my gosh. Mm. I don't know. I just wanted to try to explain to everybody. Baby, it's a lot of shit y'all holding. Let some of that shit go and say, fuck you, bitch. We can't roll like that. A lot of people I don't roll with no more. Because they wasn't good for me. They wasn't my friends. You know, they was fake, phony, however. They just wasn't good for me. But they did something to me. I never did nothing to them. Why are we not friends? Just going to put that on the market. They put that in black and white. It ain't never because I did something. It's because they did something. Oh, okay, I'm doing a brunch. Didn't know about that, but okay. Okay, well, okay. Hmm. Okay. Well. I learned something new <laughs> today. Okay, I'll put that there. I got to call somebody, see what the coinage is, because I'm on here. Oh, you thought I was frozen? You know, I'm very good at being still. I'm back. You know why I'm really good at that? Because when it's a person I don't fuck with, and they know I don't fuck with them, but they try to come up to me and talk to me and say, oh, hey, I, or tip me, baby. I go right into blank mode. Because I don't see you, I don't hear you, you ain't nothing. They walk in the club or whatever, I'm just, I'm just a statue. Walk past me. Because I don't want, uh-uh, no ma'am. That side is like a motherfucker. And you do it right in their face. <laughs> like if it's you and maybe a few other people. And as soon as one of your cool people talk to you, you go right into Kiki in with them. But as soon as that person go to talk and you just be blockage. Baby, that tear that ass up. I know because I've done it to a lot of bitches. Just blank face, nothing. And they just be like, oh my gosh. And Otito you know, Shay, I did it to Morgan. And Morgan told me, she was like, girl, that's the worst feeling ever. It's for you to be silent with a bitch. That is the worst feeling ever because there's nothing there. It's like you're talking to a goddamn ghost. 
Or it's like you a ghost and you're talking to someone they can't hear you. And it's 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 a fucked up feeling. She's and I know it is. Because other people told me when I bitch, that's a that's a hateful feeling. And she was like, bitch, that right there, I can handle that. That that's that's torture. And I only said that because we always talk about it. But you can also ask her and she'll tell you, oh, it's bad. But yeah. That's I just, they fucked the dummy. And the shitty too. Okay, they're going crazy over this video. <laughs> oh my god you know what let me tell y'all something y'all cracks me up so bad when y'all be liking my videos and stuff and be laughing that this is the funniest I laugh at that because they key keys me to know people be key keying off of my dish. And that is such a key key to me. <laughs> that is so funny to me. But he pissed me off with them gums, though. You bald head motherfucker. You got your dumb ass up there. You think you're going to change them, you dumb fuck face? What the fuck? Stupid motherfucker. And his gums is big and they swollen. So I know he got some type of gum disease. Dumbass. He didn't even shake your hand, you motherfucker, you dumb shit. And they got your dumb ass in the front. And can't even thank the fuck that they like you. Can't even shake your hand to thank you, you dumbass. What the? Oh, Lord. I don't know what goes on in people. some people's brain like that. Like, I had to break it down to my friend. This bitch tried to get cute one day. I said, bitch, it don't matter how many white dicks you had in your asshole mouth and how many dicks, uh, you, I mean, dicks, your uh, dick been in, white dicks, white assholes, your dick been in. Bitch, your ass is black. And as soon as it goes down, bitch, it's going to come right out on your ass. So don't you ever forget and think that you are better than somebody else because your boyfriend is white, bitch, and all you date is white men because, bitch, your ass is still fucking black. Okay? You could turn your nose up and be all Miss Proper and, yeah, totally cool all you fucking want. But, bitch, when the shit boils down to the nitty and the fucking gritty and it gets down that way, baby, it's going to come to reality on that ass. A couple of things that your ass is black, that your ass is pole, and that your ass is getting out of his shit because you're living with his ass, you dumb bitch. Now go sit on that. And your fancy yacht. They said, oh, right. What the fuck? I can't stand a bougie bitch on somebody else's shit. This, that shit ain't yours. She texts me later and says, I hurt her feelings. Sometimes the truth hurts. And I didn't know how else to tell her after she was, you know, slandering my friend and shit. Talking about, girl, you still in this little apartment and da 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 Oh my God. And girl, we got to do something about this. But why are you picking her the fuck apart over her shit? Make, oh, oh, it had wore my nerves out. 
I'm like, girl, we live in the house these days. We're not doing apartments, girl. We're doing condos. Okay. I had enough. And I lit that ass up. But she said I was right. Huh. And I ain't talked to that bitch since. Fuck that. You can't come do that type of shit. But I don't know. But let me change the subject. <clears throat> the boys out here are... <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, I have never seen so many beautiful men walking around before. I'm like, what the fuck is this? I ain't seen too many pretty women though. I ain't gonna lie about that unless I'm in the wrong area. But the men... I'm like, oh, no, 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 no. And then on these little apps, oh, my gosh. I just turned the damn thing off. Some knew who I was. Some didn't know who I was. I'm like, baby, no, ma'am. Uh-uh. You too fine to be trying to talk to me. <laughs> you too fine. Let me. I think you too fine. No, you just got to be a fake. You somebody you're trying to do something to hurt me, and now I'm scared. and Uh-uh. Mm-mm. It's amazing. So if any of you women single, because I've seen a lot of straight ones, everyone I was seeing looked straight to me. Bring your ass down here to Orlando, because they here. Lord knows they here. They are here. Do you hear me? Here. And the and the Latin men is in fucking Tampa. It's 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 crazy. It is crazy. Oh my gosh. I can't, I can't do this. <laughs> I can't do this part. Because this is too much for me. Then I went out last night to the parliament house. And as soon as I walked out. <laughs> gotta go. I bet I need to go. I better get up out of here right now. And I just grabbed my little suitcase, baby, and I had my hair tilted down. I was just like, do, 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 do. Because it was just too much. It was just too much going on. And this was with men. There was some women in there. It was just too much going on for me. I said, oh, I got to get out of here. Whew. Mm. All, all that makes me nervous now. All that type of stuff just makes my, it makes my nerves bad. I have to be with people when I'm in places like that. Cause I can't I can't be there by myself. I used to think I could, but now I can't do it. I cannot do that. But it's a lot of beautiful men out here though. Like I said, I ain't seen too many beautiful women. The places I have been, so I don't know if you're straight and you're looking for a woman or a wife or whatever. But I know the men out here is, baby. They got it together. I ain't seen no, um, I haven't seen, like, too many bad looking, uh, like, run down looking men, though. You know, just like, damn. I haven't seen, I haven't seen that side of people out here yet. I'm pretty sure they have them, because everywhere in the world have them, 
But I haven't seen that where I've been right here in Orlando, though. I didn't see that in Tampa. Oh, well, I did see a couple of, you know, whoa, you know. It was downtown, so, you know, you get your regulars. But... When they were stepping out, baby, them men were stepping out. They was cleaner than the motherfucker on, what was that, Friday to Saturday night? Friday night. They was cleaner than the motherfucker going into this one bar. And it was straight. Everybody down there, gays and straight, just partying. Drag queens walking around, boys and their asses out. It's just, you know, going crazy. Straight folks, they didn't even give a fuck. Wasn't no point, wasn't no laughing, wasn't no peeking, wasn't no fighting. Baby, I'm nervous than a motherfucker walking down the street. I got this tight ass dress on. I'm just pop, 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 pop. Hair blob flowing and shit. I'm in all this makeup. The guys are looking. I'm nervous. I'm twisting. I'm like, bitch, get me across this street. We jaywalking and shit. We stopping traffic. It's just like, oh my gosh. But didn't nobody say shit. They were just looking. And they were like, oh girl, they could go down. Oh, what? Oh, no, ma'am. I need to know where the back door is and I'm getting out of drag right after this. Because... They too fine for one, and it's a mixture of everybody, and I'm scary for two, three, four, and five, and I want to go back to Orlando. So, you know, but I'm, it's nice. It is nice. It's too far away from my baby, though. Mm-mm. He may call and say he need me or something. I can't, that ain't no drive. That ain't no hour flight, no two hour flight from here to the, uh, San Diego. No, ma'am. So I can't do this living over here. I'm here till Thursday and then I go to Chicago and then I perform Saturday at Berlin Club in Chicago and then Sunday, uh, Morning, New Year's Eve, I fly back to Los Angeles to shit on Vine Toilet. I have been gone this whole month. Do you understand me? This whole month. I have been gone. And I want to walk up my stairs. Turn the key. And see no one there. But my things. <laughs> my fucking bed and my Fucking toilet. I got a blunt already. Actually, I wrote two of them. I got two blunts and some weed and blunts, of course, waiting for me for when I turn the key and open the door. I'm home. Light it up. Sit on the toilet. And sit there. Take a good ass shower. Get in your fucking bed. Fuck it. Oh, but damn. I gotta go to work. I'm still gonna turn that fucking key. Throw that shit on the floor like that blood, toilet, shower, bed. Then I get up and go perform. And then I go 
you know, take that shit off. And I'd take my ass two blocks down to the club and I'd go party and fuck it up. And then walk some blocks down to my car. Oh no, I was going, I don't know. I think I'm going to park my car over there early at the club. Because it's going to be no parking. Uber, well, I don't do Uber. But Lyft is going to be high as fuck. And I don't want to deal with that type of shit. So, you know, but baby. Oh, I just want to see my house. It's time to see my villa. As soon as I get there, bitch, rent is due. Ain't that a bitch? This old gummy motherfucker. I still can't believe his dumb black ass. This, you so stupid. He probably said, great, great job, sir. And he said, glad you enjoyed it or thank you. And stuck his dumb ass hand out there to shake it, thinking it was going to do something, prove a point, and he left his ass hanging. You dumbass. Nothing but gums. Gummy. I better quit looking at this video, because this man just burnt my ass with this shit. Dumbass folks doing dumb shit. What the fuck? I don't, I, don't, I don't understand some people that do dumb shit. And Amarosa thinks somebody's gonna wanna hear her story. Girl, nobody wanna hear what the fuck you heard and learned while you was in there, bitch. You ain't no fucking informing for us. What the fuck? Shit. Nobody wanna hear that bullshit? Some of your people turned on you. Bitch, you turned on your own self. What the fuck? I couldn't believe that shit. I can't stand when people do a dumb thing and think somebody turned on Bitch, you turned on yourself. He's talking about grabbing pussies. <laughs> Raping people and shit. What the fuck? I don't understand. Baby, please. Mm -mm, no, ma'am. I just don't understand. But... People be thinking... Black folks doing dumb shit. More dumb shit. Mmm. Them greens don't look like they've been washed long enough to me. And I can't remember if she could cook or not. But they look like they should have been washed like one more time. Merry Christmas to you too and everybody else who came on that I didn't say it to from earlier um, today. I know I haven't been on for a minute. But I'm here. See, I don't, I don't like how people. I don't, I don't like how people be putting their hands all over the stuff though, like that. You gotta put your whole hand on the damn cake like that. 
why, why, why would your hands be touching the cake like that? That's too much. That don't need to be a picture or a video. Unless it's quick and you got your hands on there saying something. Why you... And I almost share because you know what I mean. But I wait till somebody else do something with it, then I go on top of it. But <laughs> I don't want to say that like that and post it because this ain't this is not another feed. This is somebody just on my jizz. Oh, she paid her mama mortgage off. <sighs> Merry just me, Jen. I'm finna go back to this place and get me some more chicken wings. And those little motherfuckers was good. Facebook. Man, that thank you for making my baby. Oh, good. You know what, girl? Uh, tell her I say, hey. <clears throat> um, you know it's gonna take like it takes three weeks, or like they said, like two to three weeks for you to get your shirt over there in the UK. I meant to tell you that. Um. When I sent it off, so it should be coming. I don't know when. It should be, well, it should be somewhere nearby. But, yeah, they told me it takes three, two to three weeks to send something to the U.K. Lauren. Oh, uh, until I said hi. Yeah, I Our response to what? But no, I meant to tell you that. And it had dawned on me because um, somebody had brought it. Ooh, somebody had brought it up about them sending something over there. And I was, oh, shit. Oh. And I was like, wait, what? And they was like, yeah, it takes like three weeks for them. And I had. Uh, called and found out and asked them. They had said, yeah, it takes that. And the bitch at the damn post office, she didn't tell me that. Well, I didn't even ask her, to be no, to be honest. I just know I sent it off, and I didn't even ask her how long it take. Hello. So, it should be coming. And I can't wait to see you in the gym. There's no seasoning. What seasoning? Oh, oh the boy of the chicken. Baby. <laughs> mm -mm. I'm going to get that ass. Yes, ma'am. Thank you for reminding me. I love you for it. I am going to get that ass to get that. Don't invite me over for shit dealing with food. Nothing. Don't even invite me over into your house. Because something is not right upstairs for you to say. Chicken do not need seasoning. So what are we going to do with the chicken? And what do you call seasoning? <laughs> you mean the shit that you shake on there? Or some Italian dressing that you can put on there to saute it? Oh, what do you mean? Because I don't give a fuck. 
if, <laughs> if you just <laughs> bake it, fry it, do whatever to it, and just put barbecue sauce or some hot sauce on it, baby, that motherfucker still needs some seasoning, honey. Your ass can't cook. And for you to say that, your mama can't cook because you had to learn that from her. Or whoever told you that can't cook. What the fuck? I'm no ma'am. Not that's why I say not my stomach. She <laughs> you can't eat everybody cooking. No seasoning at all. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what would the damn chicken taste like with no damn seasoning on it. You know what I mean? Like, what would that give you? And I'm trying to think, have I ever had some chicken boiled, fried, grilled, baked with no seasoning on it? Not even when I put chicken breast in my crock pot to make chicken salad. I never had a piece of chicken with no damn seasoning on it. Mm -mm. No, I'm good. Baby, just nothing there. <laughs> Don't ever cook me nothing. Don't ever offer. And please, don't ever bring nothing to the potluck. Don't even buy chicken. You bring water. <laughs> We want you to bring bottle sealed up in plastic water with the receipt. That's what you bring. Better yet, bring us cash and we will get the water. Because we're not going to fuck with nothing you bring in this house that got to go down our throat. Because you don't believe in seasoning your chicken. Stop playing with my food. But we are cool. It's good on that. Mm -mm. Baby, these little... Mr. Mellon's, but they used to have these too. They was green with the little pink filling for the strawberry part. I mean, for the uh, watermelon part. But this bitch right here, I'm going to fuck these up. Them grapes, they need to sit in the car and get warm. So they can get soft. If not, if you got cavities, they're going to pull that bitch up. Mm-hmm. That's, you know, salt and pepper, do something to it. It's like eating church's chicken. <laughs> <laughs> I am sorry, but church's chicken do not have any flavor. It's just 
hot grease. As soon as you bite into it, you just all over here. That chicken is